All right, gang, I'm gonna let y'all hear what it's doing before I go to changing any front end parts. I'm in reverse right now, listen. Let me go back and drive. Y'all hear that? I'm gonna straighten it up, get it jacked up, and show you what's going on. All right, YouTube. Y'all see we got the cup off the ground. Got the front tires up underneath the cup. And I'm gonna show y'all exactly what's going on. Y'all see the shirt frame that I got it jacked up on? Watch this. I'm gonna let this jack down. Look at this. See that? The whole frame moves. Huh? It ain't supposed to be like that. I'm gonna remove those bolts. See what else I need to remove to try to get that thing dropped down to be able to change those bushings in there. First, I'm gonna loosen them bolts and see if there's enough slack just to get the new ones in there, which is probably not. I'm probably gonna have to drop this whole K member. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, this will be at so far. Y'all see, I removed that bracket right there. You had one long bolt right there, two short ones. There go the bolts right there. And now, I mean, I don't think it's gonna be that hard of a job. We got the whole um, lower loose right now. Um, only thing I gotta take that bracket out. It's right here, holding the uh, motor to the frame. I gotta take this here, mount loose. I gotta take this here sway bar loose and probably the control arms in that uh, whole lower section where we gotta change these bunk joints should be able to replace. I'm gonna just change, go ahead and change the back one as well. It feel pretty loose, so I'm sure it's broken too. So I'll cut y'all along once we get to another step in this here process and let you know how it's coming. You see, right now, I just got the jack on the stand just for security when I loosen up this other stuff. All right, you too. So, y'all see, we got the um. Cross member off of there, the um, K member, K frame, whatever you want to call it. So the both of the back bushings was bad, both of the front bushings was bad, and it's here little bushing that go right here up in this engine mount. So the hardest thing to get this thing off, and it's real easy. You got the two bolts that run through here. You got two bolts that mount that that cover right here up to the frame. Two bolts behind him. Okay, so you got your two back here. You got your two up top. You, um, you got your control on, bow, and bow. So that's six bolts. And then you got your two that go on your sway bar. And you got one right here. So all together, what you got? Um, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 bolts. And you ready to come down. So next, I'm gonna just put my new bushings up in there, front and back. I'll probably replace this here. I think this is a transmission mount too. While I'm at it, mad as well. Get the new mount, get a new one of these here. And we ought to be ready to put it back on there. So I didn't drop the motor, anything motor still in the car. I just dropped that case frame. And we're still plucking in on this here rear deck. Rear of car, but that's how you do it, man. It wasn't easy at all. So all that clunking and all that, we gonna avoid that. You know, we gonna get it right now i'll let y'all know once we get it back on the car and see how everything rolls later be sure to comment like share and subscribe baby it don't cost nothing totally free Got the K-member um, washed all up pretty clean. I'm gonna try to remove these uh, old bushings with this edge chisel right here and see how they go. All right, YouTube, y'all see. 
I got the new bushings press pin. I did use a, a um a press. Um at first I wanted a breaking one because I tried to make the um K member K frame solid by putting a block underneath, but you need that opening at the bottom for that ride. You could be able to slide through the, the bottom of it um of the bushing. <clears throat> so what worked perfectly was the ball joint installer kit. Now these bottom ones, I was able to beat in with a bigger socket and just be able to catch the outer lip of the housing. And that worked pretty good. So like I said, I did use a press for the other two. And I also had to press them out. It was a hard time getting them things out. Some people cut a slit, them, slit in them with a bandsaw and try to beat them out. Um, I wound up um, I wound up pressing them out. So I had to press those back in. I beat the bottom ones back in. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and change this here oil pan gasket. So I just drained the oil up out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna re remove my pan and get that done before I put this arm um, cable on. So I'll knock that out and I'll cut y'all back on. Yes, sir. Smash that like button for a brother. Let's get it. All right, gang, I got all the bolts out. I'm gonna see if I can pry this here pan down so we can get them off of the, get them cleaned up. Get out of fresh, new gasket, get thawed. So, see if we can get them down. Stuck on there pretty good. Looks like we about got them now though, Jim. Looks like we got them, Jimmy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead on, I'm gonna let this drain overnight and we'll start cleaning up our pan and getting it ready to be put back on. Old glue, probably with the original, original gasket. All right, gang, I done cleaned up the oil pan, um, scraped it down. Also cleaned up the engine block. Now, I tried using two gaskets already. I ripped both of them. The first one, I put the sealer on the pan. I put the gasket on. I put the sealer on top of the gasket, getting ready for it to go up. I let that dry for a little bit before I installed, and it wind up ripping one of the corners. Same with the second one I got. I put the seal on, put the gasket, and this time I put the seal on the gasket as well, but I went straight up with it, and it cracked on me again. So this time, I'm just using this here gasket maker as the gasket, and I'm gonna put it up and tighten it down. So I get that done. Got both my surfaces good and clean. I throw that on there, and we're gonna start trying to get this K-member up so we can beat this rain and head it this way. So I'll get with y'all in a minute, gang. Let's get it. All right, gang, y'all see how thick I got this gasket. I'm about to throw it up and try to get them locked down, baby. Let's get it. All right, gang, we back on the Nissan Sentra. We got the frame up off the car. We got them bushings pressed in. That's a um, rear motor mount. They go on the back of the frame. <clears throat> I went and bought a new one. I'm gonna go ahead and swap it out. It wasn't broken on the frame, man, but where it goes to the motor. You see it's all cracked up. Got the new one right here. Part number, engine torque strut. That's our new mount right here. Our first mount. And cause the how it looks if look universal so we're gonna go ahead and throw them on there i got me a board i'm gonna set that frame on i'll show you how we do it i'm gonna set that up on the jack and we get it up there we'll try to get the um <clears throat> the uh, rack and pinion to the frame then get the frame locked down on the car so let's get it y'all Alright gang, I got everything nice and tight. Oh 
all four little bushes. Everything tight. No. Let me move them out. Right there. I also got me a new one right there. So I'm about to throw this wheel on. Get the car back on the ground and we should be nice and tighty. Left it loose. Guess what I always.